We are starting a freelancing for beginners series on this channel for all of you who are brand new to freelancing, as well as for those of you who have been doing it for a little bit, I promise you there are still going to be some helpful nuggets included. In this video, I'm going to cover how to create a Fiverr seller account. Note, since I already have a Fiverr seller account set up attached to my ID, I can't create a new one, but I'm still gonna go through the entire process from start to finish so you guys are not confused. I'm gonna show you how to set up a Fiverr profile that will absolutely be ready to help you start making Making money once you are done with this video. But before we dive in, I wrote a book yeah! called Freelance Your Way to Freedom. Everything I'm gonna share in this video with you guys is expanded upon like 300% in this book, plus so many other things, side hustles, mindset, money investing, everything I know. If you love me, please, please pre-order this book. Like there's nothing I want more than to be an author. So you guys can tell me I suck. You don't need to buy my courses. You don't need to do any of that. If you buy this book, please, like just for me, I will love you forever. So I promise you this book includes everything my brain knows about these topics. Well, here are the endorsements on the back. The top one is from Barbara Corcoran from Shark Tank. So she said, everyone can earn money in the gig economy. Freelance Your Way to Freedom is a practical guide to quitting your nine to five. So you can start building your empire from your living room and make it big online. You heard it first from Barb, so. So the first thing you're gonna do is go to fiverr.com. Remember that's Fiverr with two R's. You're gonna click on join and register your email. Then you're gonna pick a username. Remember your username is not that important because mine is Fazwaldo. Believe me, if I could go back in time and change that, I would. You're gonna choose a password, verify your ID, and voila, you are into your account. Fiverr will confirm it and you are all set to go. Remember, this is completely free to do, which is why I keep talking about this and I've been talking about it for eight years and I'm not gonna stop talking about it. So you should be looking at a blank Fiverr profile that is registered as a new level seller. I'm going to talk about that now and I'm going to look at my laptop with you to bring you through the entire process. Let's do it. This is just like so unflattering. Ow! Ow! I just hit my funny bone. It wasn't very funny. Remember when I did that the other day and you yelled at me? Ow! Oh! <laughs> All she did was stub her toe. That's because I'm over it now. You like rock back and forth for 30 minutes. It's like the only time someone's ever stubbed their toe. So here's my Fiverr profile. As you guys can see right here, it says level two. It's gonna say new level if you're brand new. Fiverr does have a ranking system. It goes new level, level one, level two, and top level seller. As you can see, I do not have a top level seller designation, but I am in the Fiverr Pro program. I did an entire video breaking down Fiverr Pro. I am gonna link to below for you guys to check out. So the first and most important thing you need to pay attention to here is your profile picture needs to be a high resolution, crisp image of yourself smiling with eye contact. So many studies have shown if you're making eye contact, if you're showing your teeth and smiling, you are going to win over the person's trust more who is looking at it because we are humans at the end of the day. So please don't put a selfie or a blurry picture of yourself or something with sunglasses on or where you're frowning. None of those are going to convert well for you. Right below here, you can throw in some of your keywords that are associated with the services you offer. So you can see I put in copywriter, ghostwriter, because that is what I offer on here. If you scroll down, um, here are my clients and my portfolio. It is very important to have examples, social proof of your work for these people to review. And if you don't have any work, or if you're going, Alex, I don't have any paying clients, how do I get this work? I actually also have a video on this, as well as a mini course dedicated specifically to building a portfolio if you are brand new. But if you can put two and two together, you can do free work for people to get these examples and upload them. It's very important to have this when starting out, or the clients will not know that they can trust you. Down here we have Fiverr Learn. Fiverr has its own online course portal. I do believe if you take some of their courses and they're pretty cheap, Fiverr probably gives preferential treatment to people who are investing in their products. So I would check this out. Um, they offer a lot of helpful skills that are gonna make it easier for you on here anyway. Okay, your description's very important. This is kind of a chance for you to humanize yourself uh, since Fiverr is anonymous. So I throw in that I'm 29, so people feel like they again can trust me, they know me. I throw in my background and then it's really important at the end to throw in this enthusiastic type of, you know, let's get to work type of thing. You do want to communicate to clients that you are actually happy to be on here and that this is something you want to be doing full time because nobody wants to work with a freelancer who feels like reluctant to be on there. So don't be afraid to use an exclamation point here and show the client that you're excited, your background, a little bit about yourself and yeah. 
languages tests taken uh, this is super important especially if you're doing something that is not in your native tongue to affirm to the client that you can still operate in whatever language it is you are operating in on Fiverr uh, I recommend taking at least one test no matter what it is you're offering on Fiverr it's gonna show the test results and a ribbon on your profile and that's just all the more stuff that's gonna allow these people to start trusting you as their freelancer Add your skills in here. This is very much like LinkedIn. This is easy to do. Uh, link your social presence, professional presence. Um, down here, you know, education, certifications, think long and hard. You might have one you don't realize. Um, appearances, notable projects, all of this stuff. You wanna make sure you have at least one thing in all of these categories. The more you pack into your profile, the better it looks, the more professional you look, and it just gives this overall impression to the client that this is your full-time job and you're taking this entire thing very seriously. Now, in the next video, I'm gonna go over specifically how to set up these gigs. I actually have an old video where I covered this as well. I can link below. But I would recommend if you're brand new, starting out with just three services on your profile, no more than that. See, I have a lot, don't do that yet. Uh, I recommend three services because it makes it, again, appear like you are doing this full time. It's not just one service, which kind of screams newbie to people. Three services gives this shopping experience. It shows them you're serious about what you're doing, but you don't have 10 open either since you're still, of course, going to need to learn time management customer service expectations, all that good stuff. So there's two things that we can see from looking at the gig from a profile perspective. One is the gig cover image and the other is the title. So we're gonna talk about these right now. For the title, you wanna make sure it is not that long so that it trails off the gig. I see this all the time and people will have no idea what you're selling and if they have to click on it to find out what you're selling, they are absolutely gonna move on to the next person because there are a lot of other people competing with you on here. So you wanna make sure it's short to the point and is packed with your keywords. Now you're probably saying, well, Alex, how do I know what my keywords are? So if you go up here, if you're in the Seller Plus program and click on this, it'll just tell you your keywords. But if you're not in the Seller Plus program because you do have to apply to it and they tend to accept people in who are level two or higher. So with patience, you'll get into it, but you're probably not into it yet. So I used handy dandy Google to look up a free keyword search tool for Fiverr that I'm gonna share with you guys. It's called Five Lytics. Obviously it matches up with Fiverr and it's a keyword search tool. It appears to be free. So if it's not free, you guys can yell at me below. But if you spend some time on Google, just searching Fiverr uh, analytics or keyword searching tool, one of these is gonna come up and then you can use it to look up what your analytics are gonna be for your gig. So once you know the keywords, you would write them into the title. And again, see how short my titles are. I've definitely made sure to keep it short to the point, time is money, people are busy on these sites, they don't wanna have to sift around. So that's the first thing to keep in mind. The second thing is the gig image is so, so important. As you can see here, I have tons of pictures of myself through all of my different hair colors. So people can see I am in fact real. My hair is of a chameleon tendency, but that I am a real person. So now you're saying, okay, Alex, I want to make a gig image like you have here, but I don't know how to do that. Fear not, I have looked up for you guys right here, the Fiverr gig image dimension, screenshot this. It's 1280 by 769 pixels. And then you are going to go into Canva. I'm gonna to link to Canva in the description of this video as well. I highly recommend using Canva. They have a lot of free templates that you don't necessarily have to pay for, although I do have the pro account. So if you come into Canva, I clicked on create a design and I put these dimensions in and it's going to give me this now i went over here to search templates and this is new for canva but they actually have pre-made templates now called thumbnail for fiverr look at all these i mean again in my day we didn't have this stuff so you guys this is amazing i actually i clicked on this one and i went ahead and uh, made my own next to it here so i did that by you know delete the person upload a photo of yourself and away you go you make your you make your gig image you download it i downloaded it and then you can upload it into the gig now in the next video i'm going to do we are going to cover extensively the actual setting up of the gig so if you're feeling stressed about that please don't and i am going to link to all of my other videos that are relevant to this below for you guys i'm going to switch back oh boy here she comes <laughs> 
Oh boy. <laughs> How we doing? It's like a bowl in a china shop. Thank you. And with that, your Fiverr profile is ready to be competitive in the open marketplace. If you guys want, I can do a video on how the Fiverr algorithm works. I have been on there for almost eight years, so I do have some type of idea of what does and doesn't help you in ranking in the algorithm. If you like that type of topic, please let me know in the comments below, as well as please like this video and subscribe if you have not done so already. I have a ton of freelancing Fiverr make money online content coming your way. Of course, even more of it is in my book that I'm gonna show one more time. But with that, to the library. A Child's Garden of Verses. This poem is called Rain. The rain is raining all around. It falls on field and tree. It rains on the umbrellas here and on the ships at sea. Short, sweet, to the point. That was it? That was it. See you guys next time.